pretty nice, pretty great. I'm pretty happy about it. All right, we've got the fake fireplace going. I've got my mood lighting back there and we're just getting cozy because that's what today's video is. We're gonna be doing a cozy winter favorites video and I'm excited. Grab your cup of coffee or tea, whatever floats your boat. I've got lots of lifestyle products to talk about, some makeup, and just what I've been enjoying for winter time. One of them has been the fake fireplace slash snow scene. I posted this on Instagram, but I've been like switching between the fake fireplace and the snow. And to get the snow scene, you just go on YouTube. If you have like a smart TV, you can just go on the YouTube app and type in snow scene YouTube and you can choose between like a bunch of different ones. If you are not lucky enough to live somewhere where it actually snows, so you have to virtually get your snow fix in. That's what I've been doing. But if you enjoy this video while you're watching, you can give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Let's get into it. All right, let's start off with these slippers I discovered on Amazon. These are so comfy. I wear slippers all the time. The slippers really do make your whole body so much warmer. I know they say like your head and your feet are where your heat escapes. So I feel like if your feet are warm, your overall body is so much warmer. But I love these because A, they fit me and it's very hard to find slippers that fit that aren't kids slippers and that aren't like dinosaurs or aren't friggin lighting up as you walk so these do run about a size or two small and i was so happy when i read the reviews saying that because i was like oh these will actually fit me so these are us size six but i'm a us size four and these do fit me but i like to wear socks with my slippers so that definitely makes it like a little bit more patty they still fit when i don't wear socks but i love these because they are like memory foam on the bottom so they're super squishy and you can wash them and they actually recommend to wash them once a week <laughs> to kind of like refluff the memory foam which if you're someone like me who's wearing them 24 7 basically it i guess makes sense to do that because they do get flat if you don't do that and i have already washed them you just wash them on cold and the memory foam does like fluff right back up they're super comfortable and I love like the outside material too. And then they do have a sole, which is nice as well. I also have black Ugg slippers. I'm wearing them right now so I can show you these. And I actually prefer these ones over my Ugg slippers. And these ones are way cheaper. And I think they have them in tan and some other colors as well if you're not into the black. But definitely just keep in mind that they, they do run small. Okay, next up I have a home favorite. These are like modern kind of wine glasses from Crate and Barrel, and these are the red wine ones. They have white wine ones that are a little bit shorter, so if you want like the biggest size, definitely get the red wine glasses. But I, I'm not a big drinker because of my head, so I like using these to just drink like mocktails out of, and it just makes me feel like fancy, and I just like it. I just like the feel of them. I just use it like, even if I'm just having dinner by myself, like I'll just put a little ice cubes, with mango juice, and then some like, peach bubbly, like actual bubbly brand peach with mango juice and it's so good. But I just love the look of these. I love how they feel, they're nice quality. And I did order two more so that I have four of them for post COVID when people come over. So I'll have like a full set of them. If you are gonna be moving, just keep in mind that you always get those moving coupons in the mail and Crate and Barrel, CB2, all of them are part of that. So I got like a 15% off coupon when I moved. So I use that to reorder the other two. So if you are gonna be moving, just like wait to order that kind of stuff. But I just think these are like the prettiest wine glasses I've ever seen. I know you can get similar ones on Amazon too. So link those options down below if you wanna get them on Amazon, but they are different sizes. I think they might be a little bit bigger. Not sure. So my next winter favorite is a makeup item from Haley's Beauty, which is their reInvent BB Drops, which you guys have heard me, okay, and they're in my hair, which you guys have heard me rave about for a while now, like, I don't even know, maybe eight months. And I wanted to thank Haley's Beauty for continuing to work with me and support my channel. I have a few Haley's Beauty's products that I absolutely love. I mentioned their Refine Face Primer in my 2020 Favorites video, amazing blurring primer, but I had a skin freak out this month. I used an It Cosmetics, one of their new like retinol moisturizers. I'm gonna insert pictures here. I had like a reaction to it for about a week and a half or so where my skin was just totally like peeling, which, you know, obviously can happen from retinol, but it was like a, I usually don't have that kind of reaction to retinol face products, rash, bumps. And one of the few products that would actually like go over my skin when I was having those issues and would look decent 
were the Haley's Beauty BB Drops. They have marula oil, so it just gives your skin the prettiest freaking glow. It just looks so smooth. They don't break me out, and Haley's Beauty is 100% vegan, cruelty-free, and fragrance-free. These always just sit on my skin so well. You can wear them light, like you can just add a few drops if you want light coverage, or you can use a decent amount like I did. I'm wearing it right now. I get great coverage out of these if I use more, and I like to apply it with the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush if I want like decent coverage like I got today. And the founder of Haley's Beauty is a female chemist, which I always just think is really cool. So it is their one year anniversary, which is awesome. Congratulations, Haley's Beauty. So no code needed, but you can get these for $15 right now at the link down below in the description box. And if you're gonna be on there, I love their face primer and their sponge. So I'll have those linked down below if you wanna check out Haley's Beauty and take advantage of their anniversary sale. Okay, I tried to put the window down to see about that sun situation right there on the TV and it got way too dark. So I think we're just gonna have to live with that. So I apologize. Okay, folks, I hit the friggin' robe jackpot. I went on a gray robe hunt. Let me tell you, I looked on every possible website, Target, Airy, Walmart, Old Navy, Gap. Like I went crazy Abercrombie. Every website, I was on it looking for a good gray robe. I found this on Costco online, including shipping. This was under $16. It was like $15.90 or something, including shipping. And it is so freaking cute and soft. And I've washed this. It's not a shedder, which is like one of my main things I look for with a robe is I, I cannot stand when they ball up, when they shed all over everything. I want a robe that I can just wash as many times as I want and that doesn't get all over everything. And it's also not too heavy. The other thing is that the sleeves on this are not too long. Like you can live your life because look, the sleeves are a perfect friggin' length. They're not overly long. And I love the collar on here, how it's like two-toned, 411, so it does go down like, to my ankles, I don't really care because I'm like, like, who am I wearing this warm? I'm just wearing it to be warm, basically. And uh, it cover it keeps me warm because it covers my entire body. But it is just like the perfect heaviness. I love the colors, I love the tones. It doesn't shed that it was 16 bucks. I just feel like I hit the friggin' robe jackpot, folks. Okay, next I have two tea favorites. I talked about this one in an Instagram reel on my food Instagram account, which is Seattle Food Scapades. Ooh, this one is friggin' amazing. This is the Celestial Seasonings White Chocolate Peppermint. This one does have caffeine in it, FYI. But this with the Starbucks white chocolate, I did like a whole recipe, or if you wanna call it that, just like concoction in that reel. So if you wanna know exactly how to make this taste friggin' amazing, watch that IG reel on my food account. But if you can still find this, stock up on it because I'm assuming it's only a like limited edition thing for the winter. I already have another backup box of this, so I'm good. I just found this at Fred Meyer, so hopefully if you have a Kroger by you or Fred Meyer, you can find it there. It is amazing, it's by far my favorite tea I've ever tried. And then this is another favorite tea discovery. This one is the Bigelow Toasted Coconut. I'm not gonna lie, the, just the sound of this and the packaging like really sucked me into this. It says almond bark black tea, a decadent combination of toasted coconut and almond flavors. And that just, ooh, that just sounds amazing to me and just like so wintry and my mouth is like watering thinking about toasted coconut almond bark. But again, this one is actually really good and I like adding just a splash of my favorite creamer from Chobani in the blue carton, the vanilla. This with a little splash of vanilla Chobani is 10 out of 10. All right, so the next few things are all surrounding the topic of uh, the bath, bath time. So I have a home haul coming that you guys are gonna be seeing next week, but I filmed that video like a couple weeks ago, so I've already been using this thing for a couple weeks, which is why I'm including it in this video, but the timing is gonna be off anyways. So for the first time ever, I am a proud owner of a bath caddy because I have a bathtub, which I am obviously very excited about. So a bath caddy, if you have never seen one, basically just, I mean, the thing is kind of self-explanatory, but it sits on either side of your bath and it basically just 
hold shit for you. <laughs> pretty nice, pretty great. I'm pretty happy about it. So this one is by the brand Umbra. You can get it either on Amazon or on their website. I usually sit in the bath for, it just depends on the night, sometimes like half hour to an hour to let all the Epsom salt and magnesium like do its magic on my body. And so I usually like try and watch something or listen to a podcast or whatever, like as I'm in the bath. So this has a stand right here where you can put your iPad and lean it up or you can put your phone. I have to put my phone in here because my case is too big to set it right here. But if you have a thinner case, you could put your phone in this slot. Drink slot right here so you can put either a coffee mug or your wine glass or whatever. And then you could also put your drink over in one of these. If you want it like more secure, you could just slide it in. And then these adjust depending on the size of your bathtub, so you don't have to worry about that. But I just love the color of this too, love the wood. Before I was setting my iPad just on like the side of the tub, just like hoping it won't fall in. So it's so much nicer having this. Okay, I have ran very scientific experiments, okay, on different Epsom salts, different brands. Dr. Teal's works the best, at least on my body, just as far as actually doing something and like relaxing the muscles and feeling a difference. Dr. Teal's is the best. The foaming bath actually does work like I think even a little bit better than the actual Epsom salt crystals, at least for me. I mean, I use them both, but I've isolated both out. I've gone, I've gone crazy with this. And I think I actually like the foaming bath a little bit more and you get bubbles out of it too. So that's another advantage, but I've gone through a whole one of these. This is the coconut oil scent. And then this is the relax and relief. So this one's eucalyptus and spearmint. I just kind of like eyeball it with how much I pour in. Dr. Teal's brand specifically, because I've tried other brands of just the Epsom salt and it doesn't work nearly as well as the Dr. Teal's brand. I'm just gonna get the other couple bath items done all together. So if you're not interested in bath items, I'll put like the time on the screen right here where to fast forward to in case you're like, I don't have a bath or I don't care about baths, whatever it is, I'm not a bath person. But this is a bath pillow and I was really on the fence about trying this because my neck is like very specific with like the angles and stuff and I was just kind of like looking at this online like I don't, I don't know about that, like I don't think that's gonna work. But then I read online that their return policy was really good and if you don't like it, you could return it. Worth giving it a go because it's better than being like, <laughs> fully flat with no support against a hard porcelain tub, you know? Just stick this on with suction cups and you can wash this in the washer and dryer, which is great so it doesn't get like gross and moldy from the water. Let me just preface this by saying, if you don't have back and neck issues, I think this is gonna be like 10 out of 10 for you. Everyone's neck is different, so I can't say like what's gonna work for you and what's not gonna work, but I will say it's better than being against a hard porcelain tub, but I wish someone, I've looked this up, it doesn't exist, if you're an entrepreneur and wanna make this, this would be a great Amazon product for you to make. I wish someone made like an actual cervical bath pillow because that doesn't exist, or at least I haven't been able to find one. If you know of one, let me know. <laughs> but in the meantime, this is definitely better than just being against a hard porcelain tub with no support. When you're against it, it actually has like a decent amount of support. It doesn't just go totally flat, which is good. All right, and then last bath item I'm gonna talk about before I bore everyone who's not interested in baths if they haven't already done that, probably have. Hopefully you fast forwarded, if so. I found a new favorite Etsy shop, people. These are from Yours Truly Jaden, and they had amazing reviews, and everyone was saying that they were like giant bath bombs, but what really got me is that you can cut these in half because they are really reasonably priced, but then when I read that you could cut them in half, I was like, whoa, that makes them even more reasonably priced for bath bombs because I don't feel like with bath bombs, I need like a giant bath bomb in one bath. You know what I'm saying? It's more for like the scent and the experience and stuff. But what I also was looking for was a bath bomb that had Epsom salt in it, which most of them don't. And all of these have Epsom salt in them. I bought like eight of them because I just wanted to get like the free shipping and stuff. And I, you know, read the good reviews and everything. And I've already used three of them, like cut in half. And I've loved every scent I have. I got like the wintry ones. So hopefully when this video goes up, they'll still have all the wintry flavors, but I love Christmas tree bath bomb. This is like the evergreen kind of one that has a little tree on the side that's super cute. And the candy cane one smells so good. And then I got mistletoe, but they have tons of, you know, not holiday scented or not wintry scented ones if you don't want to get wintry ones, but I just think these are so cute and I love how big they are. And they give you like a slightly pre-cut on the half. 
You do still have to cut them. I wish they came like halved already. That would be super cool. So you could just take it apart in half. You do have to like cut it. But I also feel like they leave my skin really soft when I get out too. Like I noticed my skin is definitely softer when I get out of the bath with these than when I don't. Okay, we saw moving vlog number five. You know, I've been loving these. These are the Ardell Wispy Clusters. I'm wearing them right now. I've been doing in general if I'm wearing lashes is I'll take any other lash and I'll cut it in thirds and then I'll put that third on the outer third of my eye and then just to fill in the gap, let me get close. And then just to fill in the gap right there, I'll put one of these little clusters right there and it just gives the look almost of like lash extensions and it helps to kind of make it so it doesn't just go from like lash to abrupt nothing like where your la natural lashes are. Just a little bit of something without having too much lash because I find that if I sometimes put like strip lashes all the way in, it just kind of like overwhelms my eye shape. So these are a way to get that like fill in without it being too dramatic. They have short and medium length and I just like using the short ones. So that's what I've been doing and I've used, reused the same ones like literally, I don't even know, probably like eight or 10 times so far. Okay, I'm removing our ambiance from the background to tell you about it for a second. But this I have had for a couple months now and this is a color changing light that you can get off of Amazon. And I actually keep this in my bathroom because I love using it when I'm taking a bath mostly, but I also kind of just like move it around because it is wireless so you can do that and it has different settings to turn it on. It took me a minute to figure this out, so let me just save you the hassle. To turn it on and off, you have to do a two finger hold for a few seconds. So you just do that, and then there's different settings that you can just tap, and you can also get it to kind of like rotate through the colors if you want that. It looks a lot more intense, obviously, when the lights are off, and actually, let me just show you. <laughs> Duh, the lights are off right now and uh, it's just daylight out. So this is the closest we're getting to nighttime right now, okay? If you don't wanna do like the color changing bulbs or whatever, like I have my bedroom and you just want something like this so you can kind of like move around to different rooms, this could be a good option and just has a little USB charger right there. But I use it literally every night when I take a bath. I turn off all the other lights and I have this on. It's just really relaxing, so I love it. And also just has a nice warm, regular, light too. Also when it's off, it looks nice just sitting there because it's a nice cool tone white and then it has like the nice fake wood on the bottom so it doesn't look bad just as like a decor item too. And then I have a new jogger slash sweatpant discovery. So these were 13 bucks from Walmart and I don't actually own a white pair of sweatpants and I wanted something that I could both wear just as like PJs or around the house but that I could also then go on like a short walk with or go outside or go down to like get packages in or whatever and then I wouldn't have to like fully you know change out of or whatever laziness at its finest things that you can sleep in and then also go get packages in you know what I'm saying and these are perfect for that because they still look kind of like cute like honestly you could probably make a whole outfit of, out of this with just like a leather jacket and like cute sneakers. They're super comfy they're super soft I got a size medium for reference they're not like super overly thick so if you if you want like really thick joggers these aren't them these are more like lightweight kind of ones i don't know if i would recommend wearing like neon yellow underwear with these you know but i didn't find that they were like too see-through to like wear out but i do wear like a down jacket in seattle wow i've got a lot of stuff here this time but we are coming down to the last two items so this was something that i picked up for my apartment and this is the cutest little dish soap container that I found off of Etsy. They have one for dish soap and hand soap, but it's like this ceramic, nice little container. And I just thought this was so friggin' adorable. Look at this. So instead of having like the plastic dish soap bottle out on your counter, if you wanna just make it look cuter, I wanna say the same seller had like an amber colored bottle with this over top. So I'll link this Etsy seller down below, but just be careful since this is like printed on, you don't wanna go like hardcore washing this or like scraping it and stuff. So just be careful with that. But I really love this and it looks so cute sitting on the counter. And the eyeshadow palette that I've been reaching for a ton lately, I kind of just have been trying to shop my stash basically and like rediscover makeup that I already have. And I have been reaching for this 
Most days when I'm doing my makeup, it's the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette, but I'm wearing this right now and I wore it in my moving vlog number five as well. I used it for my, I changed all my profile photos on Instagram and stuff. If you're wondering what makeup I did for that, I showed it in the last vlog, but like getting ready and that's what I used to use this palette. And I just find that there's something about the shades in this palette that really make my eyes pop. Like these two shades right here, they're cool tone, but they're not like, they're not extremely cool tone, but they're just taupey enough where if you have greenish eyes or bluish eyes, it really makes them pop. I love this shade for all over the lid too, or just on the inner corner. And they all just blend together so nicely. I really like using this shade, which is cleavage. There's some interesting names in here. We've got sexpert, cleavage, hookup, okay. I really like putting cleavage all over my eyes. <laughs> Never thought I'd say that sentence. But cleavage all over my lid, which is basically what I did today with a little bit of heaven right here. Just looks so pretty. Just put my robe back on because I'm freezing and why not? I should just film the whole video in this thing. What was I thinking? But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna have everything I talked about linked down below in the description box along with the Haley's Beauty products. Again, you can check out their anniversary sale where everything is 30% off for a limited time. Not gonna lie, I kinda just wanna lay down this robe or get in a bath right now. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.